Hello, I'm Peter O'Mara, and you're watching Hollywire. What's up, Hollywire? We're hanging out with Peter O'Mara. Hello. 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 Did you want to spin the wheel? Yes, I want to spin the wheel. Okay, yes, you want to spin I the can't spin the wheel. Guys, we are also going to play Holly Words. Let's do this. Go ahead and spin the wheel. I like it. That was a good spin. It's a good Templar spin there. What do we got? We've landed on private jet or yacht. Private jet. Yeah? Yeah. Although, really, I suppose the romantic side of me would be the yacht. I just wouldn't feel comfortable yachting it myself. I'd have to get somebody else to do it, you know. <laughs> okay, let's give it one more, another spin. Ready? Yeah. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, oh, dine out or delivery? Oh, dine out. Yeah, come on, we gotta go out, right? Dine out? Yes. Fancy or like casual? Um, casual, comfortable. Casual, comfortable. Not doesn't have to be fancy. Yeah. Okay. Something where we just all feel good and having a good time. All right. Do yeah. you want to do one more for good luck? Well, yeah, I'm hoping for Nicki Minaj or Cardi B. I feel like... <laughs> let's just put it... Because I know what my answer is. Go to it. All right, go to it. Ready? Oh, look at um, that. How did we get there? Okay. Cardi B. <laughs> Why Cardi B? I just think she's a class act, you know? It's fun watch. Yeah, fun watch and funny and real and just got the sass and all that stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. Let's talk about... Nightfall. Well, Nightfall is a uh, show set in the 14th century, and it's all about the Knights Templar. Nightfall is swords, action, non-stop violence, intrigue. It's intense, and this season is off the charts. It's really good. Perfection. We're done here. <laughs> <laughs> what is that like getting into all the armor and the hair and the makeup and then being on a... You're in a real castle. Yeah. And just being on that set, is it just... Do you forget the cameras are there and you almost feel like you've been transported back in time? You get little moments. I mean, I love being on a set anyway, but there are, I'm doing an historical piece. Every now and then I would sort of get a glimpse of, you know, it's smoke billowing and there's a Templar sergeant on a castle wall. And just, you're transformed to this other time and place. It's amazing. Um, so everybody has amazing hair on this set. They, you know, I'm glad you mentioned that. We do have amazing hair. We have an incredible hair and makeup team led by Davina Lamont, who is a multi-Emmy nominee. We're really lucky to get her. And I gotta say, having all that long hair, just the rock of that hair every day was fantastic. <laughs> and then with the armor and everything, you know, it's, it's a boy's dream. <laughs> I think every boy runs around wanting to be a knight at some point. And yeah. Getting to play it was a dream come true. You wanna be a knight, you gotta put in extensions. Well, definitely, you need the hair and then <laughs> you need a sword. Did you keep it on, or was it, you have to take it off every day, put it back on? You have to take it off every day. I'll let you know the secret, it actually has a name, my hairstyle has a name. It's called Susie Baxter. So my wig is called Susie. So, uh, so I love you, Susie Baxter. Um, <laughs> Speaking of hair, Mark Hamill's hair and beard are pretty intense. Mark Hamill lot, is such a lovely, disarmingly charming man that you forget that he's working with you know, 10,000 hours of experience. Um, because then when you see him on the camera, and when you see the finished product, it's just electric. He's so good. He almost is unrecognizable. When I was seeing him with all of everything on, the wig, the beard, I was pretty amazed. They did a terrific job. What was it like working with him? So nice. Just I mean, I mean he's a hero. I mean, I grew up in Tipperary, Ireland. I had a lightsaber made of something plastic and ran around and, you know, in that small town that I'm from, we had one channel and um, one cinema and one screen. So when Star Wars came, it was just life-changing. See, this whole other world was opened up to us. Of course, we all want to know the Star Wars stories and behind the scenes. I was very generous with them, actually. That was great. And he's, of course, he does multiple accents and he's great at voices. Um, it, I'm really proud to get to call him friend and now brother to Alice on. You know, did you do the lightsaber noise when you were wielding the sword? Do we go like No, I know he would have been, he might have, been behind the scenes he might have He's funny. I feel like he would have loved it. Yeah, he's really funny. Uh, he's got a great sense of humor. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you, Holly Wire. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you for watching. Guys, thanks for watching and be sure to watch the next video.